I'm gonna ahead and hit start recording because I don't know what's happening. I don't. I, I don't. That's the man. This is the start to the game. Okay. Well, hello YouTube. <laughs> I, I. It always confuses me whenever games just start, right? Like doesn't doesn't dump you out of main menu or anything like that. Just throws you right into it instantly. I never expect it. I'm gonna turn up the game a little bit. Let's hope we don't regret that. As far as intro sequences go, though, it's not bad. Oh, so spoopy, dude. The door stopper knocking itself. Or not door stopper, door knocker. Oh my god. <laughs> Those ghosts, though, dude. And loading. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, okay, that was just like the intro sequence before the main menu or whatever. That was just a really long pre-menu scene, I guess. I don't know. Sounds turn up, music's fine, brightness. How's the game look? Is it bright enough? We'll turn it up like one or two clicks. Why not? Tortured Souls? Oh, that's what they're <laughs> that's what they're calling the credits, okay. That's fine. I get it. Uh, no subtitle option. I don't know if we'll need subtitles or not. Uh, let's just do normal, dude. I don't even know what type of game this is. That's actually clever, right? As a lifelong author, I have often drawn inspiration for the more chilling of my tales from my own experiences as a young man living in Louisiana after the Civil War. Oh, but the story of Ezekiel Halloway. Zeke was unmarried and ever the dreamer. Years spent in orphanages had taught him nothing if not self-reliance. But the endless struggle to find employment increasingly took him beyond the outskirts of New Orleans itself, even into the surrounding unfamiliar countryside. So it was that on this particular cold and dreary afternoon, he found himself at a rather remote and mournful estate. Inquiring about the position of assistant caretaker. <clears throat> yes, Rue, you are correct. He certainly looks like a nice young man. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. I, beggar or not, we ain't in no position to be choosy. Do you think he's ready for something like this? See how it holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. Ah! Arr, that's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now. She will be expecting him. I literally have it turned up all the way, by the way. <laughs> like, it is very quiet. So I apologize for that. But yeah, I have it turned up. To the max. So it's just a very quiet game for some reason. He's back! Oh, I hope he's feeling better. Ah, I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come, we have done our part for now. She is on her way. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion high its history but solve you will this mystery and find the truth that's buried deep beneath these halls where spirits weep oh i child am madame leota speaker of the spirit world medium of the mysterious and seeker of things unseen <laughs> i know why you're here even better than you do yourself assistant caretaker it is and you are Ezekiel, but you prefer Zeke. <laughs> we couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits now, could we? <laughs> if we had, you wouldn't be here now. 
and the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate, corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place, and we are now Thorn's prisoners, locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort, a sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used uh, okay. to battle any All evil right. forces we encounter. Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. While not all of our foes fear the light, it will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here, the soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> the primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchels, so hold it open and I'll just roll... Oh! Ugh! Wait. Wait. Oh, you don't need to... Fingerprints! Watch the fingerprints! My god, dude, I didn't realize we were playing a Metal Gear game. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Why do we need such a long cutscene in the beginning? And it's not done yet. I'm hoping this is it. Once he gets up there, this is it now, right? We have control. Camera cut. The Thank you. Oh, my there. god. Okay. So were they like trying to knock off Luigi's mansion? Is that what <laughs> was going on here? Cause honestly, like I think the the Luigi mansion genre <laughs> is a little is a little underserved, to be honest with you. Also, this thing's definitely alive. Can I Oh, that opens this. What happens if I go back down here? Any anything hidden in here that I can interact with, collect? Okay, triangle is the look button. R1 fires a shot. That's alternative camera controls. C circle is doing something, but I don't know what the hell it's doing. X is jump. Squares interact, okay. I'm glad our lantern's like a fucking machine gun here, dude. Also, I gotta turn the game down a little bit because the fucking machine gun lantern is loud AF. Even though everything else is super quiet. Okay, so we need to find the light switch, I guess? That's what she said. It should be, I'm assuming, down here at the end of the hall. Oh no! He's so spoopy looking. Oh god damn it. Okay. Okay, so L1 locks on to stuff. Got it. Easy enough. I think I can handle it. What is... Ah! <laughs> okay, that's health. 
bravery tonic. One do do words. One dose of Doc Pankzex. Pen Genuine old-fashioned bravery tonic is good for tongue warts, ear twitching, navel lint, cowardice, and other ailments. Replenishes Zeke's lost bravery. Oh, so we don't lose health, we lose bravery. Sure. Why not, right? I guess that's a nice kid-friendly way to have it set up. Ah, uh, there we go. Now that the lights are on, you'll be less afraid. And your bravery measure will reflect. So is our bravery meter growing? It is. Okay. So we have more base bravery whenever we're in the light. That makes that makes sense, I suppose. I can dig it. Also, is there like random cat noises in the background? I feel like I keep randomly hearing cats meowing. I can't open this door. Do we need to turn the lights back off and kill more ghosts? I can't turn the light off. 15 spirits needed. Fred, did we break the game already? Oh, we can hold... Never mind. No, we can't. Thought we could hold square to run, but it's not doing anything. Bruh, seriously, did I break the game already? I'm very... I'm very confused. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's what this does. Okay, this is our vacuum from Luigi's Mansion. To pull more than one shriveled soul at a time into the beacon, tap. Okay. So this is a Luigi Mansion knockoff. I'm into it. Is there any easy way to know what souls are hiding in? Yeah, it looks like they pulse whenever we get close. What's this on the ground? A card? Fortune card. Part of Madame Leota's long-lost deck. Used to channel spirits and provide protection from evil forces. Collect 10 to gain an extra life. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Where's the rest of the evil spirits, though? In the picture? No. Because I'm assuming the the eight that it shows on the... Uh... Oh, thanks, love. The eight that it shows on the lantern. I'm assuming that's how this many we have. Thorns, magic. But don't worry. You can break down... Okay, but we don't have enough souls yet. We need 15. So where... Maybe back down in the dungeon here? Now that we learn how to suck up the souls, will some... Like, come out down here somewhere? A death certificate. Congratulations! You found part of an old death certificate. Collect all the pieces and take them to the proper friendly ghost to earn a reward. Okay. <laughs> so we take death certificates to ghosts for reward money or, or reward something. Why not, right? I can't seem to capture more than two ghosts at a time. Maybe we need to get an upgrade or something to do more than that. Once collected all the shriveled souls from a room, you're ready to explore more of the mansion. Press activate to open the door. Can I can I interact with that ghost? Oh no, he's coming. I should have listened to the madam. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but that ghost was talking. Oh. Before the worms, the worms. Hi. Goodness gracious. I ain't never seen a storm like this. Oh. I really wish there were subtitles, man, because all these ghosts are saying shit whenever I interact with them. No 
noise. Oh, you look scary. Maleficent with a scythe. So is this like the whole game? We get into a dark room, we have to figure out a way to turn on the lights, find souls, and then repeat? Because that, that other number next to... This will save you time later. Activate the grandfather clocks you find throughout the mansion. Okay. Uh, the other number next to the uh, lantern there. I'm assuming that's how many souls there are left in the, the room to find. Clocks be save stations. Exactly. Which, I mean, hey. As we travel oh my god, dude. In the, mansion, the energy of souls long past still lingers. Alright, sometimes you can communicate with souls. You could just, like, do that whenever we first come across the soul, you know? Where's the light switch? I was looking, <laughs> God, can't use logic in games like this. I was looking, you bastard. I was looking for the light switch over here next to the door because obviously that's where you would put the light switch, right? Next to, <laughs> next to the door that lets you come into the house. Oh, we can't actually walk into there, okay. Wait, how do we get up? How do we get upstairs then? <laughs> Excuse me, game. Um. Okay, maybe... I don't think I actually tried to go through this door. Maybe we can go through this door now? No, you cannot. That needs 170 spirits. So where's these 15 spirits hiding? Will they come out before we turn the lights on? I mean, she just said something about, like, lingering spirits she can sometimes interact with, right? So that was probably a hint. Is there a lingering spirit hiding around here somewhere that we can speak to? Ooh. Secret switch. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so they played Luigi's Mansion and Mario 64. Got it. <laughs> it's actually kind of neat, man. That effect works kind of well. I'm not gonna lie. That looked pretty good for, for something on the PS2. Like... That's pretty good. Going in and out of the painting the way we did. Too bad we can't just do it again like at will. I just want to see us fly into it again like that. That was neat. Oh, did we did we just stomp on it? I like all the uh, hidden doors and stuff like that. That's cool. Looks like a, something the Order of Shadows would use, but I don't see how to activate it. Perhaps we'll find a way later. Okay, got to come back to that. There's the little light switch. I'm less interested in the light switch now. That 525? My god. So this is going to be one of those games where like we just come back here. Right? Like, that 525, I'm assuming, is, like, the end of the game. Maybe that 170 is, like, the middle of the game. But we have to work our way up to it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> like, end game? Yeah, no, dude. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I 
wonder how exactly they did this section. I like how the, the painting like changes. Like here it looks like a painting. And then once we hop into it, it doesn't look like a painting anymore. It looks like, I don't know, either a higher resolution painting or, or like a 3D asset or whatever. Kind of like in classic cartoons like Scooby-Doo and shit. You knew what they were going to interact with, the characters, because it always looked different than the rest of the art. Alright, so now I'm assuming we have to find anything to interact with. Massively, yeah. I always thought that was great, man. As a kid, I felt so, like, special, right? Like, knowing that there was a hidden switch on the wall or whatever, but they couldn't find it, you know? Like, obviously, it was, well, obvious, but <laughs> as a kid, it made me feel pretty good. Like, oh, come on, guys. It's right there. Why don't you just just, just pull that, that, that random candelabra on the, on the wall? And then, eventually, they, you know, like, Shaggy falls over and pulls it or whatever, and they're like, Shaggy, you found a switch. And, yeah, but I was like, I knew it was there the entire time. <laughs> it's like guys it looks so different come on exactly exactly or danger prone Daphne yeah oh shit we breeding uh that is not what I expected <laughs> like face wise really cute pattern mm, I don't know man I don't know how I'm feeling about that pattern there for the 100 bit oh no 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 you used the coin didn't you Okay, it said 100 bits, and I was like, one credit worth 100 bits. I was like, bruh. <laughs> thank you. Either way, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even think it's worth trying to get more than one at a time, dude. Every time I try to, it just doesn't work. Or two at a time, I guess. Two's pretty consistent. Is that how this dude died? Dancing on the fucking chandeliers? You have died. And you are looking at everything from way up high, do you idiot? I feel like there's probably some way to interact with him, but I just don't care. He ain't no Sia, though. Did Sia sing that chandelier song, I'm guessing? I'm not very good with, like, celebrities and songs and stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. See, all I can think of is I'm coming in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I'm going to swing from the chandeliers. That's that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've even seen, like, the music video if for that one. Because it had, like, that... Button. Wasn't it, like... Was it Shia LaBeouf in Some Little Girl or something? Like, I feel like it was some famous actor person or something in A Little Girl. I need one of those controllers that have the fucking auto fire on it, like. So it was it was Shia though? I I couldn't tell you the girl's name. Even if I saw her, I couldn't tell you the girl's name, but I'm pretty sure it was with some sort of famous actor though. Why is the piano is not like playing itself here? He has been in Sia videos. Okay. So yeah, probably Shia. Maddie's from Dance Moms. Yeah, I definitely couldn't tell you then. I hate Dance Moms, dude. You know this, Noodle. <laughs> I despise that show. It's not very many shows I legitimately hate. That's one of them. Hands down. Years have passed since our defeat. We do not sleep yet, and the plague has proven quite effective at reducing the Brotherhood's numbers. 
folly it was to believe we were no longer a threat and to lower their defenses. For as the shadows crawl eastward from the setting sun, so too does the reach of the order extending to encircle the globe. I don't know why this game's so damn quiet, dude. In case you weren't sure, I didn't just randomly decide to stop talking there. <laughs> there was there was a dude talking to us, just very quietly. Where the hell is this light switch at? Is that it? There's something glowing up there. How do we get up there, though? Can I, like, climb on stuff? No. Was there a hint in that shadow tome thing we just opened? Because I admit I wasn't paying any attention to what was being said, but they did say something. Did I leave my shit downstairs? Son of a... It's fine. I got mint. Dude, don't piss yourself. It's gonna be okay. In short bursts, I could actually see this game being decent. I'm not gonna lie. Years have passed since Here's a pass since our defeat, but we do not sleep yet, and the plague has proven quite effective at reducing the Brotherhood's numbers. Folly it was to believe we were no longer a threat and to lower their defenses. For as the shadows crawl eastward from the setting sun, so too does the reach of the Order, extending to encircle the globe? Never mind, that doesn't really help us at all, does it? But I think it indicates that they are the, uh... <laughs> They're the cause for the plague? Was that supposed to be, like, scary? Or is this a hint? Can we get behind one of these? Is there something hidden behind one of these doors, maybe? Can I interact with the bookshelves? No. Random, random painting I can enter. Hmm. Can't interact with the chest. Nothing in the middle of the room. I don't know if I actually press the interact button on the piano. Ooh. Of course. Oh god, okay, there's... <laughs> there's holes in it, we have to... Oh, god damn it. Why, game? You were doing fine, you didn't have to be a platforming game. I was into it when it was just a... Is that a spider? Hi there, Mr. Spider. Um, whenever it was just a, a walkway appearing in front of us, I thought it was fine, pretty neat, but then it made me jump. I don't want to jump, because if I fall, that means I have to do it all over again. Thank God. Wait. There's nothing here. Oh, the instruments. We got to get all the instruments playing, of course. Oh, oh no. Oh. Why, game? <laughs> Do we have to start over again, or is there like... Do one of these act as like an elevator? Do you come down and pick me up maybe? Son of a bitch, dude. Oh, there's a staircase now, dope. Thank you for the checkpoint. And before that was actually there the entire time and I'm just a dumbass. Oh no, oh no. Why did they just like fall out from under me like that? 
Or not. I guess they didn't fall out from under me. They just they just went away so quick. What happens if I, like, jump on this one? Does... Wait, so is it, like, an order thing? I don't really know how that works, I'll be honest with you, but whatever. We made it. That's all that matters. Bro, we're going the wrong way. Game. Okay. Mm, you bastard. I definitely say platforming isn't this game's strong suit. Maybe it's just not my strong suit. <laughs> tricked me that was just rude at least it gave us a shortcut was that shortcut there the first time too and i just went to the stairs like instinctively probably what are you a mumbo doll handcrafted by uh, madame leota to ward off evil and protect the bearer from an untimely death give zeke a permanent bravery boost ah very cool I accept your weird doll. I don't know how the hell that gives you bravery. You find a creepy doll in a creepy mansion. Bravery is not the first thing that like, or confidence boost rather, isn't the first thing that pops into my mind. Okay. What the hell was that sound? gonna mash x and run around in circles I'm bound to find them eventually or not x square oh shit <laughs> that's what i get are you in whatever these are hey another death certificate i still don't know who that's for The duelist, okay. Not gonna give me a hint on maybe where to find him. I'm assuming it'll be obvious once we see him. Bro, they are. They're all making like weird little noises. Hi there. Guys, guys, something's missing. Can we get more cowbell? Oh, the classic cowbell joke. Okay. Was there a door in here? I don't think so. So there must have been a 50 door back in here. And I've just forgotten it. It's not super surprising, I suppose. I've been known to forget a thing or two in my time. I remember this one, but this one was like 125 or something, wasn't it? 170. And then... Upstairs, was there two doors or just one? Ah, there was two. We go here, we go here, the game room. In my head, I'm imagining like an arcade, but <laughs> I don't think this old ass mansion has an arcade in it, sadly enough. Be pretty dope, if not a little out of place if it did though. <laughs> I 
I just keep hoping that we run into like a boss fight or something, you know, something to, to change the pace up a little bit. Like we saw that giant spider outside. It'd be pretty cool if it just appeared out of nowhere and we had to fight it. Blast it with our, our light balls. <laughs> the chunk I might get my wish just bust through the window do it yes come inside <laughs> yes <laughs> fucking called it dude Bro, this is <laughs> that was the fucking boss fight. That oh, uh, okay. Holy shit, dude! Was he aiming for me? Oh, do we play by like having him hit up or shoot it at us? We totally do. Do we have to win? Can I just push the balls in? No. Ow. <laughs> I hope the balls have like some sort of increased chance to, to go in. Something does not sound happy. Oh god, we're gonna end up dying, dude. <laughs> no. Okay. Here, this one's basically a straight shot. Oh, you're like all the way over there, though. This ain't gonna work. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be going in or not. Or make or helping the balls go in rather. Oh god damn it. No, what are you aiming at? Oh god, I just killed myself. <laughs> it's fine. We have plenty of lives. What happens if we fall in one of the holes? Nothing, okay. I seriously don't know what's going on here. I'm assuming that we're just trying to get him to, to get all the balls in. Just keep killing dudes, I guess, man. I don't... <laughs> Are the balls slowly going? Okay, yeah. It does seem like they're going in slowly. I think the physics are skewed a little bit in our favor. This camera is terrible, by the way. Luckily, it doesn't seem to matter which order they go in. Wait, why did the... <laughs> why did the ball move to the right? I didn't even think it hit the ball, to be honest with you. There we go, dude. Like, straight shot. Come on. You got this. It's not really a straight shot, but it's close enough. 
Bruh, <laughs> just go in. You better head to bed. You're the team lead for the project. Got to meet with the professor at exactly 8 a.m. Gross, dude. <laughs> Have a good night, bro. I hope your project goes well, man. Oh, my God. Just go in. Can I just push you in or something? <sighs> okay, the cue ball went in. Is that good or bad for us? Oh, it just respawned. Okay. Come on. Corrosive. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was kind of into this section until this shit. I just want this to end. Please shoot the ball in. Must have just got lucky with all the other ones going in, man. Ow. Please. Please. Dude, come on. Oh, uh, bro. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Just don't hit it so hard. <laughs> Why did you do that? As far as I can tell, there's no way for me to get out of this. We've jumped off. We've gone in a couple of the holes at least. Ow. Oh, boy. This is probably just as entertaining for you as it is for me right now. That is to say, not at all. Stop locking on the ball, please, and just lock on lay ghosts. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Where's the ball? Come on. Bro, is it impossible? <laughs> Does this ball just never go in? I'm pressing square. Look out now. The game's Pocket each ball one by one. Yeah, so this really is... Okay, well... Thank goodness, dude. And that's the light switch? How the hell are you supposed to turn on the lights here? <laughs> what does this even connect to? It's just floating in the middle of nowhere. I call shenanigans. That's bullshit. All right, where's these 20 freaking things at? Wait, if we get 20 here, we're still gonna need... What, 100 more? To get in the next door that we know of? Oh, hi spiders. I just want that, please. Thank you. Do not go back on the pool table. Pool table bad. Okay, one more thing. Poker table? No. Or blackjack table, rather.
Did we miss something in here? We did. Oh, hi, giant spider too. You were much more interesting when I thought you were going to be tough to kill. Now I just don't care. So he's got you delivering his threats now, eh? What's this? A death certificate? Why, it says here that that no good of double-crossing backstabber got the best of me. Bull feathers. I'll show him who got the best of whom. Why, I'll bet he's up there right now, camping with a shotgun or worse, trying to get a bead on me. Now that you've gone done lit up my hiding spot, Light makes the shadows deeper, though. Could be anywhere. Speaking of shooting in the dark, I have this. It's one of them soul gem thingamajigs for that there beacon lantern of yours. Here, might bring you better luck than it's bringing me. <laughs> yeah! All right. Wait, that was the gift that we give for delivering the, the, the death certificate? Shh, what was that? smell his beady little eyes. Best leave now before the lead starts a flying. I thought it was going to be like a new item or a power up or something. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Wonderful. <laughs> that's, I guess that's how we get 170. We can now charge shot. <laughs> what was the point of requiring 170 souls if it was just going to give us all of those extra souls anyways? Did they mean to have two or three more levels in the game, but they they ran out of time or, or money or something? Um, uh, this game confuses me. Okay, sure. I guess we're going to the downstairs hallway. Like, why did it not just require 70 souls, you know? If it was just going to give us the other 100 for free anyways. It was in the spring of 1855 when I first came to the mansion. That was shortly after the owners first felt the evil presence here. While the owners were away, I was ambushed by forces greater than mere evil spirits. In the end, Atticus bound me within my own crystal ball, as you see me now. Oh, I shudder to think of the owner's fate. <sighs> but things will be different this time, child. I promise you that. Uh huh. Sure, they will be. I'm kind of bored of this game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like the the idea of a uh, Luigi's Mansion style game sounded pretty decent on paper, but like execution, I just uh, I think they they whiffed it, dude. <laughs> oh, uh, ow! Yeah, that charge shot is useless. Are you going to play something else then? I don't know, man. 220 spirits needed, so that's not where we go. What time is it? 119. We probably have time to play something else. I was really hoping like once we got to a boss fight or something, the game would change a bit, but it really hasn't, huh? Take us out to the graveyard. Yeah, I think I think we're good, man. I I just I don't think the game is going to change, you know? I feel like it's just going to be more of this the entire time, and it's not <laughs> its not very engaging, man. Maybe if I was a kid or something, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, fuck. Excuse me? <laughs> fuck it. I think we're, we're going to switch it up. Let's go ahead and play something else, shall we? I need to pull up my list here. Miscellaneous. Transition. Let's just roll something, dude. Turn off that. 
Wait for it to clear, and we'll figure out what the hell we're playing. First roll counts on this one. D excuse me? Okay. <laughs> like, the loading bar stopped, so I thought we were going to get a number, but then it didn't. It must have still been clearing. Number 87, Spider-Man. Bro, but now I feel bad because Rue's the one that voted on Spider-Man and they're not here. It's fine. We'll just reset it. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. <laughs> do it again then? I'm going to do it again. Didn't happen. That role doesn't exist. And play it next time? I'll probably forget. Let's be honest. Uh, but see, now Nate voted on that one and I don't know if Nate's still here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I think I think we just say fuck it. It's it's a short stream, whatever. I'm tired. It's fine. Just play a random sports one. It's not a terrible idea. What do we have sports-wise? I mean, Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup. That's technically a sports game, right? High Heat Major League Baseball. Are you trying to make me fall asleep? Um, NASCAR 06, NBA Jam, and NCAA football. We've actually done pretty good at getting rid of most of our sports games, huh? We don't have that many left to play here, surprisingly. Ah, I think we're just gonna say fuck it, dude. I'm gonna, I don't know, fall asleep anyways. I'm pretty damn tired today. Screw it. Hour long stream. That's <laughs> hour and a half, whatever. Yeah, fuck it. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out, I guess, while uh, <laughs> we played a tiny bit of this, Disney's The Haunted Mansion. Uh, look, the, the free movie pass that was inside the case originally was probably the best part of the game. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap or something. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Uh, I probably won't be streaming on Tuesday. I meant to say that at the beginning of the stream, but I kind of forgot. Um... I've decided to start taking Tuesdays off. Not necessarily every Tuesday, but uh, most Tuesdays probably so that I can work on other stuff like the six-hour games, which, uh, fingers crossed, going to have two of them to release this time around. Optijack may be making one if he if he finds the time to, to do so. Uh, so I'll be giving both of those out to subscribers of the channel, posting links for them. Um, and the theme we're going for this time is action RPG. Honestly, Dorseman and I have a pretty decent idea, I think, on what we want to do. So as long as we can execute it within the, the six hours per person time limit that we have, I think it'll be pretty, pretty decent, all things considered. Uh, but more on that once the, the work actually starts. In the meantime, though, guys, thank you so much again for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate it, even if it was a, a shitty little sports, not sports stream, short stream. Like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. <laughs>